sis, the reason why your makeup isn't blending is because you're using the wrong brushes. I'ma get straight to it. We are talking about essential brushes that I think you need in your makeup repertoire. First up, we have the NYX Pro Buffing Brush. Y'all, this brush is hands down one of my absolute favorite brushes to blend out foundation. So if you wear foundation, skin tint, whatever, this is gonna be the perfect buffing brush for your base foundation. I'll put direct links in the description box below so you can shop these brushes. But y'all, if you wanna invest a little bit of money, which this is still drugstore, so, but it's a little bit on the higher end of drugstore as far as like price wise, in my opinion, because I feel like drugstore ought to be under $10. But nowadays, drugstore be like $17.99, $19.99, and I be like, whoa, relax. Inflation is crazy. This brush is amazing. I actually have about two or three of them because I love this brush so much. First of all, let's not talk about me needing to wash my brushes. I know. I know, if you need to wash your brushes, we need to hold each other accountable and we need to wash our brushes ASAP. If you don't wanna spend on this brush, you wanna find a similar brush that's kinda of dome shaped, so round, and it's dense. So it has a lot of bristles um, in the brush. And a similar one that I have found, it's not the same, but this is like a similar kind of brush. This is the AOA Studio F4 brush. This brush, is round, dome shaped, dense, as well as this one. So when it comes to blending out the base, you want a dome shaped, thick, dense brush um, that'll help you press in your foundation. You wanna do a pressing, like a bouncing motion, almost similar to what you would do if you were using a sponge. This is the buffing action that you would be doing. And if you do this, your makeup will not have streaks in it and it will blend so flawlessly. Just wanted to give you guys another example. If you did not want to spend the coins on the NYX Pro Buffing Brush, you can try out the AOA Studio F4 brush. Next on the docket, we have the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. Now you might be like, Slim, girl, this side looks very much like the Pro Buffing Brush, okay? They are very similar. This one is a little bit smaller, um, but you could use this side for foundation as well. But I wanna let you know all the uses that I personally have gotten out of this. So I use this side for foundation. I use this side for blush. I've been loving this for blush. This smaller side, I like to use this for concealer. So if I want to blend out concealer under my brows, if I want to blend out concealer under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, or if you wanna use it as contour, you can use it to contour the sides of your nose. It's a small, dense, kind of dome-shaped brush. So it's basically like this side, but smaller. Another use that I've been getting out of this side of this brush lately has been to blend out my color corrector. So typically if I color correct, it's going to be like dots on my dark spots. And so I'll just use this to blend out the color corrector before I start doing my foundation. Um, so this brush has many uses i do have more than one so say if you don't want to buy all these separate brushes but you want to use this brush for multiple purposes you can buy two of these and use one of them for foundation one for blush one for contour and one for the other side for contour and one for concealer so you don't have to like clean your brushes in between. So if you try to use this one brush for all of those different options that I just told you, your makeup is just gonna look a hot mess because you can't use this side of the brush for contour and concealer in the same application without actually cleaning the brush. So that's when you wanna consider buying multiples of a brush that you really like that you can use for multiple purposes. So boom. This one, I'm telling you, get it it's amazing next up we have a flat concealer brush i don't think this 
particular brush is still on the site, but they do have a similar one. And I will link a similar concealer brush in the description box for you guys so you can check it out. Concealer brush, I feel like is so necessary for carving out your brows. So if you needed to carve this out with concealer, a concealer brush is what you wanna use for that. Um, if you wanna place concealer under the eye, you can use this brush for that as well. You can also use it to carve out the crease on your lid. So if you're doing like a cut crease, you can use this to stamp on the concealer on your lid. Now, another thing I use this brush for is to place my product. So for foundation, I typically like to place it on my face first before I start to blend it out. So I would use this, place the foundation on my face, and then I will proceed to blend it out with one of those buffing brushes. For me, a concealer brush is a must if you wanna get your brows looking snatched and on fleek. Okay, so get you one of these. Y'all have to excuse me because my brushes are way overdue to be washed, so just bear with me. The next brush that I absolutely love is the Morphe E36 brush. Now, some of you may recognize this brush. It is the brush that launched with the Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. It's dome-shaped but it's at an angle. And so yes, this is a foundation brush. Again, because it's that dense kind of dome shaped brush, you can use this to blend out your foundation. It works amazing. I like to use this to blend out my bronzer or contour because with it being at that angle, it just sits perfectly into like the hollows of my cheeks and I don't know, I just feel like this blends out my bronzer and my contour so well. So if you are looking for, again, multi-purpose, foundation, bronzer, contour, this brush is gonna do it. Like I really, really, really love this brush. Okay, last but not least, we have the e.l.f. Precision Powder Brush. Now, yes, again, mine is dirty, but this brush is a dense, large like fluffy brush is great for finishing powders dusting off excess powder like anything pressed powder as far as like a foundation powder a finishing powder those kind of things this is going to be your best friend um, because one it covers so much surface area but i love to use this brush to like blend everything together so after i apply my blush my set my under eyes like whatever it may be if i'm setting the rest of my face with a finishing powder or um like my sephora micro smooth powder like i literally will use this brush to blend everything together and it's just so fluffy it's so large so it covers like a large surface area of my face but it is just is that girl for me now you can find other like fluffy brushes but this one I haven't found one like this big and this dense and this soft but you know if this one is not around or if she's MIA then I'll just use like another fluffy brush this is the AOA studio f12 brush and you can use this as well this one is not as big or as dense as the elf one but you want to have a good powder brush so if you want to make sure your makeup is blending, honey, make sure you check out my video up here where I teach you guys how to blend your makeup and more advice on whether you should use brushes or sponges. If you're still watching, that means you're enjoying the vibe. So you might as well go ahead and subscribe down below. Enjoy the family. And y'all never forget, be kind, be true, and be you. Tipple. Bye. Yeah, Slim Rush, yeah.